Hello, my name is Jason Roth. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Roth Davies in Overland Park, Kansas. Today I'd like to discuss the pre-trip and post-trip inspections required of a commercial motor vehicle pursuant to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations. The safety regulations place certain responsibilities on both the employer and driver to verify that a commercial motor vehicle operated on the highways are in good working order. These include pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Prior to driving, the driver must feel satisfied that the following parts and accessories are in good working order. The service brakes, including trailer brake connections, the parking or handbrake, the steering mechanisms, lighting devices and reflectors, tires, horn, windshield wipers, rear view mirrors, and coupling devices. In addition to these parts and accessories, the driver must also be satisfied that the fire extinguishers, spare fuses, and warning devices, generally considered emergency equipment, is in place and ready for use. Prior to driving, the driver must make sure that the vehicle cargo is properly distributed and secured all doors, tires, and tailgates are secured, and the cargo does not obscure the driver's view. The post-trip inspection, also known as the driver's vehicle inspection report, must be completed after each trip. At a minimum, the report must cover all of the parts and accessories examined in the pre-trip inspection. Additionally, the report must contain the date and vehicle ID, a list of any vehicle defects, a way to indicate if there were no defects, and spaces for three signatures, the driver, the motor carrier, or mechanic or other agent, and the reviewing driver's signature stating that defects have been fixed. If you have any questions regarding the pre-trip or post-trip inspections required of a commercial motor vehicle, please feel free to call 913-451-9500. Thank you.